what's up everybody so uh, today I will not be doing any review or you know any hauls I just wanted to have this video spent talking about well this guy uh, this is Godzilla this is the 2000 version uh, I won't be talking about this figure I just actually want to talk about the upcoming 2014 reboot um, to start off um, how I got into Godzilla I think I remember some of the older movies but then the one full movie I've seen was the 1998 remake yeah I'm sure you guys are probably like oh that movie sucked blah, blah, blah. well it kinda was a little bad but how they handled in building up to the review to Godzilla I thought was handled very very well but the first Godzilla movie I actually seen in the, the, the but the first Godzilla movie I've actually seen in the theater was Godzilla 2000 and I had more fun with that movie than the 1998 American uh, version. I thought that Godzilla looked great in that. It was his best design and um, just how he moved, how everything was handled with the story as was. Well um, little moments in the fight scenes, I thought they were all just great. So now uh, onto the news on the remake. On July 10, uh, a site called GodzillaEncounter.com was released and it had, I think, and it had two uh, really cool viral images, which was pretty much the start of the viral marketing for the movie, which I was most anticipating. And it showed two fake news reports. One was about how a shipping vessel was missing on its way from Japan to San Diego. And you know, what a coincidence that San Diego is also where the San Diego Comic Con will be in pretty much a few days. A ship actually saw a black iceberg and um, the way they described it as the iceberg seeing them, I thought it was like very uh, foreboding of Godzilla, uh, like a nice little foreshadowing of what's to come. And then there was also a third one where it talked about um, someone, I believe, reading wailing sounds. And they actually found something that was that sounded even bigger than anything that's ever been recorded. And it sounded um, like, you know, immensely huge. I thought that was also good because uh, since Godzilla is a, you know, he does live underwater. And then came the fourth. And when that one came out, actually IGN, if I believe it was IGN that uh, reviewed it, we actually got a teaser poster for the twenty four for the twenty thirteen San Diego Comic Con, and it showed uh, a Godzilla shape formed from all these uh, debris and rubble. And I thought, um, even though we didn't get an official Godzilla little poster, like you know, actually seeing him in it. Um, just seeing that shape, or like the side view, I thought that was really, really cool. And even, it's like they gave us Godzilla without giving us Godzilla, which um, is what I enjoyed. And it's also something that the viral marketing uh, seems to be following up on. And there was also another part of the viral where they showed a radioactive meter, I think. And it's um, something that's... Uh, where it shows a dial and it's going back and forth and you see the radio radioactivity and um, in it it actually had a a URL written on it uh, where it says go to encounter.com it would switch and say a site where you can go to and you can actually pre-order tickets to see a special uh, release for we're well, not really a special release but um, some kind of pro it was a special promotion for Godzilla the 2014 remake and it was only available for Comic-Con uh, people or people who already had their Comic-Con badges which I thought was kind of a rip-off because um, you know it's probably gonna be showing some stuff that will be Comic-Con exclusive and what sucks is that the 2012 concept trailer still hasn't been released and that one sounds really cool and it will be great to see um, the early vision of what Gareth Edwards who will be directing the reboot has for this but you know, I'm excited for those people who get to see it because I want to hear their feedback, especially what they'll be revealing at Comic-Con. Um, so, you know, this is like pretty much just a little comp compilation of all the virals um, talking about how I think Godzilla is just a really cool character, um, really cool kaiju also, and I'm really anticipating the, the movie and 
it's actually probably going to be my number one most anticipated for 2014. I'm hoping that the viral continues to go on and will be as good as it is now, especially uh, if it can top the Cloverfield viral, which was just amazing because it made all these uh, lifelike virals that were, you know, fake, but you can feel that they put a lot of effort into it and made the, the monster in Cloverfield feel as real as they could and as if it was actually heading for New York. So I hope they do the same thing with Godzilla and with all the different cities that they've hinted at in some of the production photos. I'm guessing we're going to see some other virals leading to places that he will visit in the movie or even uh, relating to maybe upcoming um, promotions or what have you. Mother of God. But pretty much 2014 is probably going to be Godzilla's year and with Pacific Rim uh, be bringing a big comeback for Kaijus, um, I'm hoping that 2014 will solidify how uh, amazing Kaiju monsters are or Kaijus are and hopefully it'll be the next big trend because we don't get much Kaiju movies nowadays and um, I think Godzilla will be a great place to actually focus on that where Pacific Rim was more on the giant mech suits. Godzilla will be a great uh, way to start off on, you know, the monsters themselves. So, um, if you guys are really, really interested in seeing the movie and you want to follow the viral, always be checking GodzillaEncounter.com. It's a really great site. I constantly check it even when I'm at work or even before I go to sleep. Um, I'm hoping that whatever they reveal at Comic-Con will also be revealed here. Hopefully a trailer. So, be looking forward to Godzilla. It's coming out next year. And for those who are going to Comic-Con, you guys are so lucky. I hope you enjoy what you see. And please remember every little detail you see so that uh, you can share it either on YouTube or in a blog somewhere, maybe Tumblr. Um, will be really interesting to see and hear what you guys say. So that's been my little uh, video on Godzilla. Thank you so much for watching. Here's to hoping that Godzilla will be... Uh, one epic through ride of a movie. And thank you guys again for watching, and have a good day. Later.